So is your first love worth a second chance, or should your past just stay in the past? Kristen Higgins is a local New York Times and USA Today best-selling novelist. She's here to talk about Waiting on You, her third book in her popular Blue Heron series. Nice to have you back here, Kristen. Thanks, Teresa. Uh, so the book is brand new. It's just yes, out, right? Yes, just came out. Uh, and so far, what are the, what's the response? It's been great. People seem to really love Colleen. Um, she is the local matchmaker in town and mm -hmm. kind of a professional flirt. And she and her twin brother run the only bar in town. And, uh, and her problems start when her first and only true love returns to town huh. 10 years after breaking her heart and marrying oh, someone else. Oh, interesting. So this is the third book in this series. Yes. The same type of characters along the way? Pretty much you'll see some of the characters from the first two books. Mm -hmm. And it's set in the tiny town of Manningsport, which is uh, Finger Lakes wine country, a very gorgeous part of the country. Great. And uh, you always uh, seem to work in a dog or a cat. And I think this yeah. one we have Rufus, right? Rufus, a giant slobbery wolfhound. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, um, your, your choice of pet says a lot about you and, mm -hmm. and what you value in life. And, um, and I like to use rescue dogs, too, because I'm a big believer in getting your dog from a shelter. I agree with you. In fact, we have some pictures uh, of your own dogs. <laughs> kind of, would you say inspiration? Look at them. Aww, how cute your they dog. Are. Do they get along, those two? They do. They're best friends. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the, um, you know, the awkward moments involving animals in, in my books come from my own life. We always no had a lot kidding. of pets. Any other characters, would you say, based on friends you know or just kind of your own imagination? Sometimes, you know, sometimes a little reference here and there, but mostly imagination. Um, so if you're a romance writer, would you say you're, you have some matchmaking skills along the way as well? <laughs> well, I think I do, right? You know, but no one listens to me. Um, but yeah, sometimes readers will say, how can I find a nice guy? And I'll say, you know, be yourself, get out of the house, and make sure you're happy before you try to find someone to make you happy. I think that makes sense, right? Yeah. And it's great. You grew up in uh, Durham. I did, yeah. fun, because you, you write a lot about small towns, probably what you know best. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, Durham was a very beautiful town to grow up in, and, and I live there now, and mm -hmm. my kids have had the same kind of experience. So. so let me ask you, when you sit down to write a book, do you, come, do you have the idea in your head, or you kind of just start writing, and it flows and kind of has a mind of its own? It's, so, sometimes it's both. I like to have a general general idea of the characters and some of the scenes that I'll write. But then, you know, you start writing and sometimes the book takes on a life of its own <laughs> and you have to you have to be agile and go with it. Um, and Kristen, who typically reads your books? Who's your audience? Um, my demographic is pretty large. I have a lot of teenage readers mm -hmm. right through to the senior citizens. Um, my, my books are not steamy, um, <laughs> so I, I get a lot of wide range of, of ages. See. And largely women, but I get the occasional fan mail from a guy, too. You do? Yeah. Um, do you have a website where we can find more info yeah. about you? Yeah, KristenHiggins.com. Very good. And what's next for you? You're going to keep writing? Yeah, I've, I've got another Blue Heron book coming out in the fall, and I'm contracted for four more books after that, so... Great. I'm happy to hear that. Thanks. Very good. Well, let's uh, put the information up on the screen. The name of the book, again, is Waiting on You. I like the cover. It kind of it makes us think, well, what's with these two? Are they going to yeah. fall in love? <laughs> I guess we have to read it and find out, right? <laughs> right. Kristen, thanks for being here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And still to come, Joanna Siciliano returns with a great recipe for exploding chicken taquitos when style returns. We'll be right back.